uh, this morning we look at a section of the hedge. These are the hedges that are made inside the farm to create vertical spaces for little birds and uh, insects to settle down and uh, start breeding. Now the general height of this kind of hedge can be about 6 feet, you can trim it regularly. Select species who are uh, easy to trim and non-thorny. Now in this section, this is a type of bala, I am pointing with the stick. This one, that is the Tinospora cordifolia there. And then this is the plumeria. Plumeria is now flowering. And we have climbed the Tinospora onto the plumeria. And then that's a calancho. I recommend this as a hedge uh, item because it's easy to trim flowers nicely and they attract butterflies also. And then in here we have tulsi. This is a osimum gratissimum. It's a big perennial plant. I recommend this highly for all gardens. There's uh, hibiscus. And Ardotodavasa. And then there's Ardotodavasa there behind. And then there's Terminalia, not Terminalia, Clitoria ternata there, the blue flower. And then as we go along more hibiscus, the hibiscus flower, red flower. This is a type of hibiscus that grows very vigorously and uh, goats and cows like to eat. So adding it into the hedge, hedge adds color and then you can uh, chop it regularly and feed the goats. Then there's the the gaja people there, and more vana tulsi, and at a lower level we have kalanchos filled up, and then there's one hibiscus here who has been chopped, it will start growing all over again. More gratisimum. This gratisimum is a perennial plant. If you chop, cut it, it grows again. It's a good uh, competitor for the lantanas, and then more uh, tulsi more hibiscus and then more gaja people here and then we have white eggs. This also I recommend highly for the hedge. It can be chopped, it, it likes to be chopped. It likes abuse, so you can mutilate it uh, quite often and nothing happens. And then there is one more plume area and then this white eggs there climbing up. And then I put in one Singapore cherry tree also here. It's a small tree, short-lived tree that we'll use for feeding the goats and then eventually cut it off. Then this pandanus fits in quite nicely into a hedge because it's uh, slow growing, somewhat thorny and uh, it doesn't need any care. All the plants that you have to fit into the hedge should be carefree type of plants who are managing on their own. You can't afford to spend energy nursing them and all that. Now this is a castor. This is a wonderful uh, herb and then uh, the oil is also very useful. You can sell it and it spreads by itself. I like castor. And then as you go further there is this small palm. And then this is the custard apple. You can show closer for the flowers. It's flowered now. Custard apple is a very hardy plant who doesn't need any kind of care and then the fruits are uh, quite tasty, birds and all like it. Let, let's do a close up on this. Go near that flower. This is one flower, it's opened. It's a peculiar type of flower. This is a bud, bud, flower. And then uh, say in a couple of months the fruit should be ready. So I have shown a section of the hedge and ah, one more last plant, just walk further up. This is the Agni Manta. This is very essential part of the hedge I recommend because it attracts wasps. I will do a separate video on this Agni Manta in due course. 